Good evening. New signs tonight that Russia's invasion is failing and the Ukrainians could be turning the tables on Vladimir Putin. Russian forces have lost full control of Kherson, a key port city in southern Ukraine. That's according to a senior Pentagon official. This could be a huge strategic blow for Putin. Controlling Kherson is crucial for Russia's advance from the south. It was the first major city that Russian troops were able to capture, but they've been facing unrest and defiant protests in the streets after they took over. And here's another sign that the invasion is struggling. A U.S. defense official says Russia has started moving reinforcements to Ukraine from the country of Georgia. Moscow is now signaling that it may give up on conquering the whole country. The Russian military claims it's shifting its focus to liberating eastern Ukraine. That's where Moscow-backed rebels have been fighting to secede for nearly a decade. Of course, we don't know if the Kremlin is lying. As Russia wages war in Ukraine, President Biden is on the other side of the border in Poland, a NATO ally. Today, he met with American troops who are deployed there right now to reinforce NATO's eastern flank. We're in a new phase, your generation. We're in an inflection point. About every four or five generations that comes along and changes, fundamental change takes place. The world ain't going to be the same. The question is, who's going to prevail? Are democracies going to prevail on the, and the values we share? Or autocracy is going to prevail? And that's really what's at stake. Poland has become the epicenter of the Ukrainian refugee crisis. Tomorrow, President Biden is set to meet with refugees. The White House says he'll also give a major address.